My name is Hoyne, I'm a consultant psychiatrist, hello, and I'd like to talk about Wernicke korsakoff syndrome. This has been uh, detected in the 20th uh, century, and it's more or less um, described by two authors, Wernicke and Korsakoff. And uh, usually it's one disease, or it has been found to be one disease, but when it was initially described, there were different types of disease. The Wernicke encephalopathy was more or less focused on the neurological signs, such as uh, acute confusional state, could be seen as psychiatric, ocular signs, so ophthalmoplegia and nystagmus. Nystagmus means the, um, the movement of the, the fast movement of the eye, uh, ataxic gait, then uh, a neuropathia, uh, tachycardia could be something, and um, evidence of nutritional defi deficiency. And um, the, uh, there's a palsy of the sixth nerves, and which leads, uh, which leads to uh, a paralysis of the lateral gaze. gaze. Um, usually, and the cause of the um, disease is the thiamine deficiency. Thiamine is vitamin B1, and it happens very often in alcohol um, drinkers who drink heavily because um, lots of um, calories are in the alcohol and you don't take, need to take any vitamins. Um, usually alcohol drinkers have problems with the resorption of um, vitamins anyway um, because the alcohol affects the, um, the duodenal system and also uh, affects the uh, function of the liver. And so um, these are, or let's say alcohol abuse is the most common case for thiamine deficiency, severe starvation like in war or anorexia nervosa, or severe hyperemides gravidarum, so vomiting during pregnancy might be unusual, unusual uh, causes. What happens is then that there is a gliosis in the uh, brain and tiny hemorrhages, and these tiny hemorrhages might affect the mammillary bodies in the brain, the hypothalamus and thalamic nuclei, and in total, uh, this medic uh, this affects the function of the memory and, nat and uh, naturally also the functioning of the above-mentioned uh, functional systems. Um, usually the uh, treatment is giving high dosage of vitamin B1 as an injection. Usually it's uh, given as a 30 minutes injection and um, over uh, 30, 30, uh, three to seven days. Usually it's, um, it's quite well known in neurology and A&E. Um, usually one shouldn't take uh, carbohydrates because they affect the um, vitamin levels as well. Right, um, usually it should be uh, immediately treated. Um, people with uh, Wernicke encephalopathy have a good chance to uh, improve but if that's um, if the um, deficiency was long-term, uh, Korsakoff syndrome might have been developed, and uh, there also might be some alcohol withdrawal symptoms in um, if people come to the A and E urgently and uh, are treated and then don't have the alcohol they used to have. Right, usually it lasts about uh, two to three weeks. And many people who have Wernicke also develop Korsakoff syndrome, come to that in a second. Um, usually the neurological symptoms of thalmoplegia and confusion can be uh, resolved within a couple of days, but usually ataxia, neuropathy and nystagmus uh, stay longer. Usually the Korsakoff syndrome, we spoke about that this is a common uh, disease or one disease which has um, yeah, different presentations. And usually there is this um, inability to uh, form new memories and uh, people have a poor working memory. So let's say uh, learning new numbers or telephone numbers is a good example. But um, this might also be unimpaired. The most important part is more or less um, 
and this is you know reminds me of a recent case uh, which I saw in uh, in Scotland and uh, so the patient was quite uh, well was confabulating um, telling us where she was and she felt she was in a friend's house uh, even though she was in a hospital she came up with the idea that you know the the young doctors junior doctor uh, had a friend who was the daughter or the daughter was a junior doctor's friend to be a bit more clear and um, people can can do things they can learn things but um, there's a uh, considerable um, lack of memory about the uh, person themselves no uh, or poor poor management of um, new information and uh, people might you know doing very well in the tests but then completely remember that they have been seeing a psychologist who did these tests so so the um so the memory for a very very short time might function but the the um the st uh, the stabilization of the memory information that's usually uh, more of a problem and uh, usually this gets better when the thiamine is replaced so again this is uh, from chronic thiamine uh, deficiency due to heavy alcohol abuse or other um, causes co2 poisoning might be something similar uh, severe head, head injury might also cause something similar so these are the uh, differential diagnosis um, so if if the uh, symptoms are acute and severe injection are necessary but also on the long term there is a need to give a thiamine replacement and sometimes it's given for two years or even lifetime uh, usually lifetime is given when there's a question of a relapse of the alcohol um, psychiatric comorbidity should be treated so if people are depressed um, that's a major problem and uh, so OT or just trying to make people active and uh, trying to avoid alcohol is uh, very important. The prognosis is not really great, 20% of the cases show uh, recovery but there is a large, uh, people, large number of people who have very long term cyst symptoms and um, I can remember when I wasn't even a doctor in a, uh, in a practical a practical um, period and uh, we saw a patient on the ward a very friendly patient told everything nicely told about his life uh, talked about uh, when he was working in Canada and all this lot but he was unable to uh, form new memories and when you when you saw him the next day he was going to tell you the same stories um, not really memorizing anything uh, new and uh, so the memory from the recent past was impossible to be formed so um, people initially uh, i had i can remember another case where the police i uh, wanted to section a patient and the police uh, said you know this this patient is not confused he's absolutely fine um, he was a bit looking odd he had two belts around his uh, belly but apart from that the police said that's his personal problem and they said, you know, he they told he told us about uh, when he worked in Canada as a as a um, tree cutter and uh, lumber uh, lumberjack, and uh, if they felt he was absolutely all right, but what they didn't realize that the patient didn't even remember where he came from, uh, that he just came from another hospital and was walking for hours uh, from there was hitchhiking and but couldn't couldn't remember any of, of these issues so new memories could not be formed and um, that's a major problem in this uh, disease and very very often these memories are then replaced by confabulations which are ideas which are fantasized and uh, replace reasonable personal memories Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I will um, continue providing some of these little stories. Um, the only thing I wouldn't want is to make it too formalized because I think psychiatry is something 
um, which shouldn't be given in too many diagrams. It might be much easier to understand little diagrams and arrows here, left, right and center. But the idea usually here is that we try to have cognitive understanding of what's happening, even though it might be more different, uh, more difficult for the first seconds on the long term, you will profit from that. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, I hope you uh, give us a like or even subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Can I get this off here?